Did you know that your DNA holds the key to stories you may have never imagined? Imagine uncovering traces of ancestry tied to the Viking Rus, the Mongol Empire, or the Slavic migrations that shaped an entire region. Eastern European DNA is more than just a set of genetic markers. It's a living record of centuries of migration, conquests, and cultural exchange. So, what makes it so unique? And what secrets might your own DNA reveal? Stick around as we unravel the fascinating history and incredible diversity behind Eastern European genetics. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments where your ancestry might take you. Let's get started. Eastern Europe is often described as a bridge between East and West, but what does that mean for its DNA? To truly understand, we first need to define the region. Geographically, Eastern Europe spans from the Baltic Sea in the north to the Balkans in the south, and from Germany in the west all the way to the Ural Mountains in Russia. That's a massive area, and it's home to some of the most diverse ethnic groups in the world. At its core, Eastern European DNA is shaped by centuries of history, with dominant genetic groups like the Slavs and Baltics forming the foundation. But it doesn't stop there. In this vast land, you'll also find traces of ancient Greeks, Thracians, and Illyrians in the south as well as influences from the Mongols, Middle Easterners, and even Western Europeans. This diversity makes Eastern European DNA distinct. It's not just a collection of markers, it's a mosaic reflecting countless migrations, invasions, and cultural exchanges. And thanks to modern genetic testing, we can trace these unique patterns and understand how they connect us to the past. Eastern Europe's DNA is a fascinating mosaic of genetic groups that tell a story of ancient migrations and cultural exchanges. Let's break it down into the major contributors that make this region so unique. First, we have the Slavs, who formed the backbone of Eastern European ancestry. Originating thousands of years ago, Slavs spread across the region, creating a shared genetic and cultural heritage. Today, they are the largest group with languages and traditions that connect Poles, Ukrainians, Czechs, and many more. Next are the Baltics, a distinct and ancient group. These people, from Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, have genetic ties to early Northern European populations. Their DNA reflects remarkable continuity, with fewer outside influences compared to their neighbors. In the South, the Balkan tribes, such as the Thracians, Illyrians, and Greeks, play a crucial role. Their DNA reveals connections to ancient Mediterranean civilizations, creating a genetic profile distinct from the northern Slavs and Baltics. Then there are the influences from the Middle East and Jewish communities, which have shaped the genetic makeup of the Balkans and surrounding areas. This is largely due to migrations during the Ottoman Empire and the settlement of Jewish communities seeking refuge in Eastern Europe over centuries. Let's not forget the traces of Mongol and Hun DNA particularly in Hungary and parts of the Balkans. These invasions left a small but fascinating genetic imprint, connecting modern populations to the nomadic warriors of the Central Asian steppes. Finally, there's a subtle influence of Western European DNA, brought by French, German, and other groups who moved eastward during wars and conquests, especially in the last few centuries. Together, these groups form a genetic patchwork that's as diverse as it is rich in history. It's what makes Eastern European DNA stand out as one of the most complex and intriguing in the world. To understand what makes Eastern European DNA so unique, we need to look at the powerful historical forces that shaped it over thousands of years. It all began with the Yemnair and Kordidware cultures, ancient groups that migrated into the region during the Bronze Age. These people brought with them the genetic foundation of modern Europeans, blending with Neolithic farmers and Western hunter-gatherers to form the genetic base we still see today. As time went on, the medieval period ushered in dramatic changes. The Magyars, ancestors of today's Hungarians, arrived from the steppes of Central Asia, bringing a unique genetic signature that still sets Hungary apart from its Slavic neighbors. Around the same time, the Viking Rus established themselves in modern-day Ukraine and Russia, blending with the Slavs to create one of the earliest Eastern European kingdoms. Then came the Mongol invasion, a lightning-fast conquest that swept across Eastern Europe. While their rule was short-lived, the Mongols left a small but lasting genetic imprint, especially in Hungary and the surrounding regions. The region's diversity was further influenced by the Ottoman Empire, which expanded from Turkey into the Balkans. 
This brought Middle Eastern genetic markers into Eastern Europe, particularly in places like Bulgaria, Serbia, and Romania. The Byzantine Empire also played a role, shaping the southern part of the region and leaving traces of Greek and Mediterranean ancestry. Finally, the modern era brought new upheavals, particularly during the World Wars, when massive migrations and displacements altered the genetic landscape yet again. People fled westward, while others moved eastward, creating a complex web of ancestry. Each of these events added a layer of complexity to the genetic makeup of Eastern Europe. It's a region shaped by waves of migration, invasion, and cultural blending, a living history encoded in its DNA. So, what exactly makes Eastern European DNA stand out? The answer lies in its remarkable diversity and the unique genetic signatures left by centuries of history. One of the key features of Eastern European DNA is its genetic variety. This region has seen countless migrations and invasions over millennia, resulting in a fascinating mix of haplogroups. For instance, the Y-DNA haplogroup R1A is particularly common among Slavic populations and is considered a genetic hallmark of the region. Meanwhile, haplogroup I1, often linked to Scandinavian ancestry, reflects the influence of Northern European migrations, like those of the Viking Rus. Eastern Europeans also share distinct physical traits, such as lighter skin, blue or green eyes, and blonde or brown hair. These traits are linked to the genetic influences of early European hunter-gatherers and Neolithic farmers, whose DNA still forms a significant part of the region's genetic profile. But it's not just about genetics, it's about the stories those genes tell. Eastern European DNA is a mosaic that reflects centuries of cultural exchange and adaptation. The Slavs, the Baltics, the Balkans, and even traces of Mongols and Huns all contribute to a shared yet diverse genetic legacy. What makes it truly unique is how these diverse influences came together. Instead of erasing each other, they merged, creating a genetic identity that is distinct yet interconnected with neighboring regions. This genetic tapestry is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of Eastern Europe's people over time. Whether it's the high prevalence of certain haplogroups, the physical traits tied to ancient populations, or the subtle genetic markers from historical events, Eastern European DNA is truly one of a kind, a window into a region that has always been a crossroads of history. Tracing Eastern European ancestry can be incredibly rewarding, but it's not without its challenges. This region's complex history, combined with unique cultural practices, makes uncovering your genetic roots an intricate puzzle. One major obstacle is the prevalence of cremation practices throughout much of Eastern Europe's history. From the Late Bronze Age to the Early Middle Ages, cremation was the dominant burial custom, leaving few physical remains for archaeologists and geneticists to study. This means large gaps in our understanding of ancient populations and their genetic transitions. Another challenge is the overlap of genetic markers across neighboring regions. Many Eastern European DNA profiles share similarities with those of Central and Northern Europe. This is especially true in border areas like Poland or the Baltics, where centuries of migrations blurred the genetic lines. It's why genetic tests often label ancestry as Eastern Europe and Russia, rather than pimponting a single country. Adding to the difficulty is the region's turbulent history. Wars, invasions, and forced migrations displaced millions, making it hard to trace a direct ancestral line. For example, the Mongol invasions, the Ottoman rule in the Balkans, and the effects of World War II all caused population shifts that complicate genealogical research. Finally, there's the issue of record-keeping. Many historical documents were written in Cyrillic script or lost altogether during conflicts, and even when records exist, changing borders and town names can make it hard to track ancestors. Despite these challenges, advancements in genetic testing and the growing availability of historical archives are making it easier than ever to piece together the story of your Eastern European ancestry. Each breakthrough in research brings us closer to uncovering the secrets hidden in the region's DNA. Eastern European DNA isn't just fascinating. It's full of surprises. Here are some fun facts that might just make you rethink everything you know about ancestry. Did you know that one in 200 people worldwide might be a direct descendant of Genghis Khan? That's thanks to the Mongol Empire's rapid expansion, which left traces of Central Asian DNA in parts of Eastern Europe, especially around Hungary and the Balkans. Another fascinating fact is the influence of the Vikings in the Baltics and northern Slavic regions. The Viking Rus, who established a kingdom in Kiev, 
left behind a genetic legacy that can still be detected in modern populations, particularly in Ukraine, Belarus, and parts of Russia. And speaking of diversity, Eastern Europe is one of the most genetically rich regions in the world. It's a place where Slavic, Baltic, Greek, and even Middle Eastern ancestries intertwine. This blend has created a region with some of the most unique genetic patterns on the planet. Here's something you might not expect, citizenship opportunities tied to ancestry. Countries like Hungary, Croatia, and Greece offer pathways to citizenship if you can prove your Eastern European roots through documents or even a DNA test. Imagine discovering your heritage and gaining dual citizenship all at once. Finally, did you know that genetic testing has revealed that many Eastern Europeans carry markers from ancient steppe nomads? Haplogroups like R1A and U5, found in many modern Slavs and Baltics, have roots tracing back to the Bronze Age Yemnair people, some of Europe's earliest settlers. Eastern European DNA is a treasure trove of history, surprises, and even opportunities. It's more than just a connection to the past. It's a way of understanding who we are today. If you're curious about your Eastern European ancestry, the good news is that there are plenty of ways to uncover the story of your roots. Let's explore how you can begin your journey. The first step is to take a DNA test. Modern genetic testing services, like Ancestry DNA or 23andMe, can analyze your DNA and give you a detailed breakdown of your genetic heritage. Many of these tests even go beyond just identifying Eastern European DNA. They can pinpoint specific regions, like the Balkans, the Baltics, or Western Russia. Next, combine your DNA results with historical records. If you know where your grandparents or great-grandparents came from, search for census data, immigration records, or even old church documents from that area. Keep in mind that names, spellings, and even languages may have changed over time so be prepared for some detective work. One challenge you might face is navigating Cyrillic script, the alphabet used in many Eastern European countries like Russia, Ukraine, and Bulgaria. Don't worry. There are online tools and translation services to help. If your family history involves a specific country, check to see if they offer genealogy or citizenship programs. For example, Hungary allows you to apply for citizenship if you can prove descent, even from great-great-grandparents. Greece, Croatia, and other nations offer similar opportunities. Finally, don't forget to explore community resources, online forums, local historical societies, and even Facebook groups can connect you with others who share your ancestry. They might have insights or tips that can help you dig deeper into your heritage. Discovering your Eastern European roots is like solving a beautiful puzzle. Every piece you uncover connects you to a rich and fascinating past and maybe even some new family members along the way. Eastern European DNA is truly one of a kind, from the Slavs and Baltics to the Greeks, Huns, and even the Mongols. It tells a story of resilience, migration, and incredible diversity. Each genetic marker carries the echoes of ancient civilizations, historical upheavals, and cultural exchanges that have shaped not just Eastern Europe, but the world. If today's journey into the world of DNA has sparked your curiosity, now's the perfect time to dive deeper. Take a DNA test, explore your family history, and uncover the hidden stories waiting to be told. Who knows? You might find connections to legendary migrations or discover surprising traits passed down through generations. We'd love to hear from you. What surprised you most about Eastern European DNA? Are you planning to explore your own roots? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future discoveries. Next time, we'll delve into the fascinating genetic secrets of the Vikings and their lasting influence on modern populations, so stay tuned.